Hi there and welcome to Hegarty Maths. It's Mr. Arnold here and in this video we're going to look at algebraic division. As always this is for core maths at A level but is applicable to most other maths modules. Okay so this is going to be a relatively short video. We're just going to do three examples of algebraic division and it's done just the same way as you would do typical long division using numbers. So I'm asked to find the quotient obtained in dividing x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2 by x plus 1. So let's set up the problem. I'm going to be dividing by x plus 1 and I'm dividing into x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2. So I like the bus stop method of long division. And then what we're going to do is, every time we're dividing in, we're just going to look at the, take this x value and divide it into each term. So, what's x cubed divided by x is x squared. So then what I do is I take the x squared and I multiply by this expression here. x squared times x is x cubed and x squared times 1 is x squared. We draw a line underneath. What we're going to do is we're going to take this expression, the blue expression, away from the red expression above. So, x cubed, take away x cubed, is 0, and 2x squared, take away x squared, is x squared. Then what we do is we take down the next part, this negative x, and we repeat. x goes into x squared x times. And then we take this value x, or this x, and we multiply by this expression here. x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x. Draw a line underneath. And then we subtract the bottom expression from the top. So x squared take away x squared is 0. Negative x take away x is going to be negative 2x. Again, take down the next value. Minus 2. So x into negative 2x is negative 2. Then we take that value and multiply by this expression here. Negative 2 times x, negative 2x, negative 2 times 1, negative 2. And taking the bottom expression away from the top, we get an answer of 0, which means there's no remainder. So this expression divided in nicely to give us this. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Same idea again. So we're going to be dividing x plus 6 into 3x cubed plus 6x squared plus 72. Now we need to make a slight adjustment. I'm going to write it like this. 3x cubed plus 16x squared I don't see an x term, so I'm going to write it like this, plus 0 lots of x plus 72, just so that we've got it in decreasing powers of x. So, Okay, here we go again. So, again, all you're concerned with is dividing the x into each one as we go. So. 3x cubed divided by x goes 3x squared times. Then we take this 3x squared and multiply by the whole expression here. 3x squared times x, 3x cubed. 3x squared times 6 gives me 18x squared. Draw a line underneath and then subtract the bottom expression from the top. 
um, 3x cubed cancels with the 3x cubed, so that, that goes to 0. 16x squared, take away 18x squared, gives me negative 2x squared. Take down the next value, so plus 0x. Okay, x into negative 2x squared goes negative 2x times. And then we take the negative 2x and multiply by the whole expression here. So negative 2x times x, negative 2x squared. Negative 2x times 6 is going to give me negative 12x. So essentially each time what we're doing is we want this first part of the expression to cancel out. So when we, when we subtract the bottom from the top, they do cancel out and then we're taking negative 12x away from 0x so that's the same as adding 12x so I'm taking away negative 12x okay let's bring down this 72 okay x into 12x goes 12 times so 12 times x is 12x and 12 times 6 is 72. Draw your line. And then take them away. That cancels out with that. And then in this final, those two cancel out and leave us with 0. Um, I didn't mention it before, but it did say find a quotient. This is what we call the quotient here. The quotient is the result um, from doing the division. Okay, one more. This time I'm asked to find a quotient and the remainder. So set it up just like before. X plus eight, uh, negative X cubed minus five X squared plus 15 X minus 50. Okay, so just like before. So again, just worry about the this value here dividing in each time. So negative x cubed divided by x gives me negative x squared. Negative x squared times the whole expression here is going to give me negative x cubed minus 8x squared. As before, when we subtract the blue from the red, these two cancel out. And negative 5x squared take away negative 8x squared is the same as adding 8x squared, which is going to give me 3x squared. Take down the 15x. And do the same again. So x into 3x squared goes 3x times. 3x multiplied by the whole expression, 3x squared plus 8 times 3 is 24x. Draw a line. Take the bottom expression away from the top. These guys will cancel out. And 15x take away 24x is going to give me negative 9x. Let's bring down the 50 now. Oh, the minus 50 and then x into negative 9x goes minus 9 times to get minus 9x and minus 9 times 8 is minus 72 so taking the expressions away from each other the bottom from the top these guys cancel out I've got negative 50 and I'm taking away negative 72, so which is going to give me positive 22. So the quotient is minus x squared plus 3x minus 9, and the remainder is 22. Okay, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful. Back again with another one soon. All the best.